Good morning. Uh, this morning we will be reviewing the Flying Bear P902 from China. Uh, my name is Jim and I'm going to guide you through uh, what I hope is a nice review of this machine. Uh, so I, I've i always wanted to get into the 3D printing world and I, I took that opportunity uh, late in February. I used some of my tax money and decided to jump into 3D printing because I just always, it, it just enthused me. So I ordered it. It arrived about uh, two and a half weeks later. Uh, the box was in perfect condition. And uh, let's go through what I know about the machine. Uh, first of all, it is a full aluminum frame. Uh, you know, there are a few uh, injected molded pieces, but uh, not very many at all. Not many at all. Uh, some installation tips that I came across. Uh, it's pretty, it goes together just as you would expect it would. I did come across uh, quite a few nice videos online that uh, helped me uh, put this thing together. I was not missing any parts. Uh, at the end of the, uh, the build, it did have a few extra screws, bolts, uh, you know, T-nuts and things like that in case you want to add anything on yourself. Um, let's see what else we can talk about here. Uh, my experience putting together this machine was absolutely fabulous. Uh, it really kind of brought me back to the days when uh, when I was a kid and you always wanted the erector set. Well, this is an erector set on steroids that actually does things uh, that you can pull out of the printer and you can use them. Uh, the structure of the Flying Bear P902 uh, is relative to the Prussia I3 structure. Uh, the printing platform does remain static, uh, which uh, I like. Um, puts out very very good print quality even with the uh, the stock extruder uh, I, I was very impressed with that even on my first print uh, excellent uh, compared to most uh, do-it-yourself 3d printers on the market uh, this product here as you see uh, is all aluminum uh, there are a few uh, injected molded parts like I mentioned before uh, but not very many at all uh, it's a very stable printer. Uh, there's no, you know, side to side motion on this machine. It's it's stable. Uh, let's see. All right, now let's go over some of the uh, things that I added to this machine. Uh, it does come with a RepRap discount display, which uh, is fine. You know, don't get me wrong, it's fine. But uh, I did upgrade to this. Let's turn it on here. And this is the RepRap Discount Full Graphics Display, which, as you see, uh, I can get a yeah. It just shows a little bit more on the screen, which I liked. I mean, I love information, uh, but I also will show you this. I did also uh, upgrade to a 2.8 inch TFT, uh, which is nice as well. But I'll tell you what, I'll go right back to this. Uh, I don't know why. But I just enjoy that display. The TFT is nice, but I find it limited on what it can do. I mean, let, let me just show you here. Uh, you know, you can see some of the stuff here. You know, it all does work. Uh, but, you know, the leveling, you know, as you would expect, auto leveling for a second, third, fourth positions. Um, you know, you can set it to extrude. extrude. Uh, it does have the change filament, just like just like the other one. Um, it, the, the neat thing here is, on the side, you'll notice it has the standard SD card. However, it also does have a USB port, which you can plug a USB uh, stick in there, and you know you obviously give yourself more room should you choose to print from uh, portable storage. Uh, moving on, you will see that uh, the machine does come with uh, the ramps board, uh, along with the Arduino. I did, however, upgrade to the MKS Gen. Uh, 1.4. Uh, what you see there is a 120 millimeter fan blowing on those stepper motors. Uh, they hardly ever heat up, uh, and, and I've been really impressed with it. Uh, also, you'll see here, this little port here is a piece here that I, I printed. The blue piece is printed, but inside here, this piece and this cable is supposed to plug in right there. But i got to do a little modifications right here to cut that out so this will actually fit in. Basically, what that does is that it, you know, it connects there, so you don't have to keep plugging things into the board itself. You can just, you know, instead plug into this thing in the front. Uh, let's also let's see. Uh, here's another thing I did. And hopefully, you can see this right. 
This is a switch. Now the standard Flying Bear does come with obviously a power supply and a cable. We'll talk about the cable here in a minute. Um, I noticed after I first started printing that I would love the option to have a switch to shut this machine down as opposed to pulling the plug out of the wall. So I looked on Thingiverse, I found this uh, plug design and I printed it. And uh, right now it's attached with just a couple uh, wire ties, but you know I plan on permanently attaching that. Fabulous upgrade, guys. Uh, I definitely recommend that. Secondly, the power supply here. Its standard is a 20 amp power supply. I did upgrade to a 30 amp power supply going on somebody's uh, word in uh, the group on Facebook. And again, great, great upgrade. Uh, this power supply does have a fan on it, uh, which is quite nice. Uh, now we'll talk about the cord that comes with the Flying Bear. The cord that comes with the flying bear that plugs into the wall, which would be this guy here, which is not quite the same. But what I can tell you is the, uh, let's go over here. That part right there where it plugs in, the wires that come with that cable, uh, with that power cord, uh, don't use them. Uh, get yourself an old computer cable, cut the end off, and wire them in, uh, like you see here. Uh, let's moving along for upgrades. We will notice that uh, here is a set all glass plate held on by four binder clips. Uh, again, fabulous upgrade. Fabulous upgrade. Uh, not had any problems with adhesion. Uh, it was PET G PLA. Uh, I have not tried flexible filament, which I did order. Uh, you know, hopefully, maybe I'll be doing a review on that uh, pretty soon. Uh, I know my wire management isn't great, guys. I get that. Um, that's kind of still a work in process. Uh, here you will see. A BL Touch clone. I know it's a clone, but it serves my purpose. Uh, and here you will see the uh, E3D with the sock, the silicone sock over it. Uh, that has been an amazing upgrade. Uh, the print quality just it just prints and it's just great. Uh, don't get me wrong, the stock hot end is still good, uh, but I just wanted the E3D experience. Up here you'll see uh, I do have the uh, Titan extruder on the top. Uh, you'll notice that uh, in the front is a printed part. Apparently it is a it's a common problem from E3D with the Titan extruder that the front plate shatters. Uh, I did post a link to the replacement parts that you can print uh, in our Facebook group. Uh, and as you see, uh, it is printed and it is functioning. So uh, again, just great stuff. Uh, You'll see I have a little wire management thing on the top. I'm not quite so sure how I like that. Uh, I may end up shortening it or changing it. I, I'm kind of picky on stuff like that. You say I might not be, but I am. Uh, let's see what else I got here. I do have on the bottom here, you'll see that uh, I did print a little piece there on the bottom to stabilize those rods. And uh, here at the top, you'll see there's another one, but it's just not connected in the middle yet. I just haven't gotten around to that with between work and everything else that I do. Uh, uh, now let's go over a couple of the things that uh, I printed here. Give me just a second and uh, we'll see those. Now when I first got this machine, <clears throat> I printed this. This was uh, a design from somebody in our Facebook group for the E3D V6. I never ended up using it. However, I did print two just in case something broke, which is always good to print an extra. Like if you add, you know, you add anything uh, specifically that you think that may break or uh, something may happen to it, print two, save yourself some time. Uh, with the original ramp board, uh, I did print this. This again was from Thingiverse. It is the mount for the uh, ramps and Arduino board. Uh, this was great too, uh, but like I said, I just wanted that MKS Gen uh, really on there. This next thing I printed last night, this uh, is from a uh, member in our Facebook group. This is a very, very nice base. He did an amazing job with this. Uh, it looks just absolutely fabulous. Uh, just great stuff. Uh, let me see what else I got here. Uh, let's see, I printed this little guy. This is a little, uh, supposed to be a pen thing, but apparently I printed it too small. But again, you can see that he's pretty darn good. Uh, let's see what else I got here. And this guy, I spent uh, my weekend one time printing, printing him. 
he moves, all his parts move. You can find him on Thingiverse uh, and print them for yourself. Uh, just again, great stuff. And, and the thing that I can tell you is I was kind of unsure if I was going to like 3D printing. I can tell you right now, I absolutely love it. Uh, the possibilities are endless. I, I am a facilities manager. Uh, and it, it kind of adds a interesting perspective to my job as well, because, you know, if something breaks at work, I know that I can come home, uh, assuming I can fully design and fuse in 360, which is a completely other thing that I will eventually get into. Uh, maybe if anybody has any feedback on that, uh, if I can design it in fusion 360, uh, I can print it and bring it to work. I did, uh, recently make a, um, a steering wheel knob for our, one of our garden tractors out of uh, PETG printed on the Flying Bear P902. Uh, works fabulous. I also did print a, um, a United States Marine Corps uh, thing that I found on Thingiverse. It is the memorial from Iwo Jima. Uh, that one took me a while uh, on my own behalf because I... Uh, I tried out a bunch of different filaments. Some worked, some did not. Uh, I, I am partial to eSun filament. Uh, I've used that uh, almost exclusively. Uh, and, and it's just a great thing. Uh, guys, if you have any questions, uh, feel free to uh, say something in the comments here or uh, like if you like it. If you dislike it, please tell me why you dislike it. Uh, uh, and I'll do my best to uh, maybe make my next video a little bit better. Again, everybody, I hope you enjoyed my review of the Flying Bear P902. Uh, you can get one yourself from AliExpress. Uh, see the link in the description. And uh, again, I hope everybody has a great day. See you soon.